was fun. But you know, it was just a little bit scary. Might not seem like it. But on the other side, I had to climb up on these uh, little squares that I had to climb up. And then I fell down. It was a little scary. But it was really more fun than scary. But sometimes life is more scary than fun for us. In fact, we just got out of this whole season of October. It's what some of my neighbors call spooky season, where it's like, where you're supposed to be afraid. It's interesting because one of the most common phrases in scripture, if not the most common, is fear not. Well, how do you fear not? How do you decide to just not be afraid? Well, we turn the calendar over from October into November, and no longer is it spooky season, but it's the season of giving thanks, right? We even put it on our sign. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. I was thinking, as people are driving by that sign, they might see that and they might think, why should I give thanks to the Lord? The Lord hasn't shown me love. Does, do, do you know what I'm going through in my life? Do you know the tragedy that I've had? Do you know the struggles that I've gone through? And look at what's going on in the world. Should we really be grateful? How can we be grateful in a time like this? School children across the nation uh, wrote out essays of what they were thankful for at Thanksgiving time. The school children in the year 2000 wrote that they were thankful for some of the things you would expect them to be thankful for. Friends, family, teachers, basic needs being met, and material possessions as well. But then, after September 11th, in the year 2001, when school children across the nation filled out the same essay about what they were thankful for, the emphasis shifted. There was mention of some of the normal things, but there was a lot of mentioning of them being thankful for things like their country, freedom, police officers, firefighters, other helpers. And there was less mentioning of the material things that they would be thankful for. And for adults, we also saw through some studies that were done that adults were experiencing more gratitude, more hope, more sense of kindness, leadership, love. Teamwork was valued even more after September 11th than before. And for a short while, we saw that these feelings of gratitude and love contributed to lower rates of depression among adults and higher rates of positive traits among resilient adults. So how could it be that a time of darkness, a time of fear and apprehension could also lead to times of increased gratitude and optimism and less depression? It could only be that sometimes when we spend time in the darkness, that's when we realize how great the light is, but not if we make our home in the darkness. So this holiday season, as we enter into a time of Thanksgiving, a time of Advent and expecting and looking for the hope of Christ and God, may we not make our homes in the darkness. But may the darkness remind us how much we need to cling to a God who loves us, a God who is true, and a God whose promises are true.